want to take just a moment and talk about because we've been talking about get into the vortex get into the vortex our friend is talking about how well things are going now that he's in the vortex and really how relatively easy it is to keep it going once he's in the vortex but what are some things that one might do when they understand that they're not in the vortex what are some things that you might do that would make it more easy for you to move in the direction how could you get in if you're not in and we just want to offer you some very soft suggestions something that is very helpful is making the decision to give yourself a break by saying something like I don't have to do anything right now in this moment it's all right for me to rest or to chill in other words to give yourself permission to just go sit on a rock or just turn and look at the Sun as our friend was saying or or face the bay or but giving yourself permission to just ease up for just a moment that's really a powerful tool because what it's saying is I'm good I'm worthy and I'm just going to give myself a break you think that's a possible thing to do another thing that can bring you closer to the proximity of the vortex is to think of someone who it is really easy for you to love might be a dog might be a cat often it is a furry friend because they have loved you unconditionally for a very long time we don't recommend you try your mother or your husband <laughs> just choose someone who is easy for you to love and just sit softly and say to yourself I really do love you I love you because I love you because I love you because and if you'll just sit and focus on someone that's easy for you to love it will just soften your vibration moving you in the vicinity of well-being you could make a list of positive aspects but don't choose someone who you need to do it about choose someone who it's easy to do it about positive aspects of something really easy positive aspects of something easy if you're in a hotel with bad service don't use that hotel as your point of focus if you're in a hotel with really good service you might use that as your point of focus you see what we're getting at in other words just easy just easy things if you like music play some music if you can go outside go outside if you have time for a walk take a walk if it's late at night take a warm bath in other words the the whole idea of it is just to soothe yourself to soothe yourself to soothe yourself what you're saying is I want to be in the vortex and I'm supposed to feel good what could I do right now that would make me feel good what what's the best use of my time to make me feel good what would help me feel good if you'll play with this just a little bit you'll notice that you can shift your point of focus now if you're surrounded by a lot of other people who are sort of demanding of you it's not as easy for you to pull yourself away but they do allow you bath time bathroom time yes <laughs> they do allow you some private time you could sit in your car for a minute these are action things these are action things that you might do that would make you just feel a little more ease right now there are all kinds of mental things that you could do but for some reason the action things give you a little more leverage if you can find something what we're really asking you to do is to give yourself more permission than you usually do to take a moment to just chill and feel good for a moment now friends this is the most important thing that we want you to hear if you can chill for as little as 68 seconds if you can go into a bathroom or into your automobile or into a closet or into a place where where there's no one that is bothering you and you can just ponder someone you love or someone you appreciate or something you appreciate or something that is positive aspects 
If you can just maintain that frequency for as little as 68 seconds, you have shifted in the direction of the vortex. And it is our promise to you. Try it. As soon as you walk out into the world, the first person you encounter will be someone who behaves differently than they did before to give you evidence of the shift in your vibration. And once you've done it with one thing, once you've done it one time, then you can do it repeatedly. Sometimes we know you've been listening to us for a while and you have been processing these processes avidly, some of you, to the point that you're sort of numb with processes. And as a result of over processing, you begin to allow yourself what feels like the luxury of enduring more negative emotion. In other words, I'm, I know about the vortex and I can control myself and, and I am a deliberate creator. And we just want to say to you, with every bit of love that we have to offer, no, you can't. <laughs> you cannot ever, you cannot ever get so good at being in the vortex that you can just let go of your focus about it. You now know too much. You now, you see, the stakes get higher and higher. The more you know about this vortex and the more you intend to align with it, the more any time you are lackadaisical and not in alignment, the more you feel it. So it really is time for you to make a decision that you are going to do whatever you need to do as you are moving through your day to come as close as you can possibly come moment by moment to the vicinity of the vortex. Something that's really fun. Sit in your office and look around at those that you can see and ask yourself what do I like most about you what do I like most about you what do I like most about you you'll be amazed about how much energy gets going and you'll also be amazed at how they will make eye contact with you in a way that they have not before because in your what do I like about you you have joined forces with the inner being within you who has a whole lot that they like about them and you will by your attention on them activate wanted things and they will come right into their experience and show you some of those things that you like about them it is our promise to you you live in a very responsive time with the universe surrounding you with all kinds of evidence of whatever it is you give your attention to. And as you leave this gathering, determined to practice and draw evidence to yourself, evidence of what your point of attraction is moment by moment, you won't feel bored for a moment. You're going to feel the power of creating worlds flowing through your fingertips and life will never be dull for you again.